Welcome back everyone to our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19. So in today's video we have a few a few things planned. Uh, let's start with the fact that I have the 1.20 beta uh, installed currently on my machine. Now who knows by the time this gameplay video is actually released the uh, official 1.20 patch might have also been released but for right now as of this recording, I'm still using the beta, but the beta does a few things. Now, you might have seen the landscaping demo video that I did and released, but in addition to the landscaping, which we're going to hopefully get into in today's video, there's also a couple of bug fixes that I think are really going to help us out. The first thing is, if you remember from our previous video, we were dealing with the cow troughs and putting hay or silage in there, and even after we purchased a whole bunch more cows, we didn't have any more room in the trough. And I think that is a, a bug that has been addressed with this particular update. Only time will tell. Not very much time has passed uh, since our last video to this video uh, because of some things I wanted to get done in this video uh, before we move forward. But I think it's been fixed. So let's go ahead and pull up our cows. You can see we're now sitting at 157 cows and I'm going to push that a little bit higher uh, in the near future because we can hold a maximum of 200 in this particular paddock. Uh, and based on their reproduction rate, I think we're going to be fine to push this up much higher uh, and still not hit the ceiling of the maximum number of animals uh, within the pen. And of course our plan is to, once we reach sort of a maximum level, we're going to each day come in and sell out the additional animals and get it back down to a certain level. So that will have us uh, some sort of an income stream per day. It won't be a whole lot, but hey, every little bit helps. So we'll be pushing that up a little bit higher. But if you notice the hay and silage indicator here, it hasn't gone down very much at all, which is on one hand concerning, but I do think it is going down at least a little bit so I think we're going to be okay long term and maybe that issue has been addressed with this particular patch. Another thing that you might have noticed immediately is the grass grew. Uh, even though this is not a, an area of field that we're actually using anymore, in the past we have not been able to get any of our fields to reach the final stage of growth for grass. And if I come in under the fields and we add grass to the mixture and then we come under growth you can see we have finally made it back to the final stage of growth in all of these areas whereas before we were stuck in this very first stage of growth so it seems like that has been accomplished as well so some good things in 1.20 and I'm looking for good things as we move forward. So what are we going to accomplish today? Well, I've already mentioned the landscaping. We're going to do a little bit of landscaping, but the first thing we need to do is we need to actually go and sell some milk. If we come in and uh, take a look at the cows, once again, you can see there is 20,500 liters of milk, and I've already got some here in our tank. So if we come in, you see in the bottom right-hand corner, 26,500 and 18 liters. It's a little bit small because I've uh, reduced the size of the HUD some in the game, but 26,518 liters. So what we're going to do here is actually, okay, let's back it up just a little bit more and let's start filling. Okay, of course we only have the one option right now. There's already milk in the container. We'll go ahead and fill it up to the maximum. Naturally, we're still going to have plenty of milk left in the paddock because we certainly don't have enough room in this tank for all of it at this point. But I've been holding off going to sell that until uh, you guys were with me so that we can see exactly how it works and how much money we get from that 32,000 liters. So if we come in under our uh, prices and we scroll across, we'll come to the milk section, we'll click on that, and the best price appears to be at the ranch. So I'm gonna go ahead and click next to the ranch and tag the ranch, because that's where we want to take it. Uh, just out of curiosity, since these are so close together, Central Grain Elevator, because I would consider going there instead if it's much closer. And right now, off the top of my head, I can't remember where everything is off the map. Okay, there's the Central Grain Elevator right there, and that is certainly going to be closer than the ranch, which I do remember is in the bottom right-hand corner of the map. So from that perspective, I think we're much better off simply going to 
uh, the central grain as opposed to, there we go, as opposed to the ranch. So now that we've got that taken care of, so it looks like we're going to have to hop back out onto the road and we got a couple of different ways we can get there, but it looks like the easiest way is to head left and then take a right and we should get fairly close by doing that. So let's go ahead and head out to the road for our purposes right now. Uh, we definitely need to get some landscaping done to smooth out some of these transitions. But for right now, we are going to head around and try to stay off of the field as much as possible. All right, there we go. Let's get back out onto the road. Thankfully for us, there is no traffic, so we don't have to worry about running over anybody or getting run over. So we're going to stick to the road here with our, our semi. Gotta love steering this thing with the keyboard so that you have all those nice, quick, jerky movements. All right, so we could easily go down to the right, but I don't know that we've been to the left very much uh, in our gameplay video. So let's go ahead and go this way. I know we went down here uh, one time just to take a look at some of the land over here, but, but let's go ahead and head this direction because we spent a lot of time headed to the store uh, in the other direction. So the first thing with the semi, as you can see, we are going 41 miles an hour, which is much faster than we can generally go in any of our tractors. So we should be able to cover this distance in a lot less time than we would normally expect. And the reason I mentioned that is because one of the options you have for uh, a milk tanker is you can get a much smaller version that you can actually pull with a tractor. So if you want to go that route, just be aware that uh, you're going to have a few issues. Let's see, I need to actually go... I needed to take that road right here. It's not a very large road. That's for sure. And certainly not enough room for oncoming traffic without getting off on the side, but it should serve just fine for our purposes. Uh, you can see the semi is struggling to get up this hill with a full load of milk on board. Actually lost a couple of miles per hour since we've been on our way up. So we're going to head straight on through and this is another beautiful part about coming this way. Take a look at this bridge we've got. This bridge is not sturdy and this in, in no way in real life would we go over this type of bridge but for the purposes of the game I really enjoy that being there. I, I like that. It's a very, in my opinion, a very nice touch here. Let's see. I'm going to get, make sure I don't get turned around. There we go. That's where we're headed. So it looks like we need to pull right up in front and unload, hopefully, which seems a little odd that we would unload in the same place for grains, but hey, let's see if this works out for us. Oh, we can just barely fit through here. All right, let's move forward and see if at some point it tells us that we can unload. Yep, there we go. Start overloading with I. So let's go ahead and do that. Remember, 32,000 liters. Let's see just how much money we get off of this particular delivery. And it'll give us some idea of what kind of income we can expect moving forward. So it's going to take it a few moments to, to unload all of that milk. But again, while we're here, let's go ahead and back out so we can see the area. So again, a very nice area. Not a whole lot of room uh, at, at the unloaded point at the central grain elevator, but it's certainly close and accomplishes the task at hand. So let's go ahead and pull back out. I need my map back. Not necessarily for right now because we remember how to get back, but in the future I will be lost without it. All right, you see there it looks like some cotton is being grown in that field. All right, let's go ahead and slow down just a little bit going over this bridge again. That is, and look at that patch job there. That is amazing. Certainly looks plenty sturdy for our, our purposes, doesn't it? Should be no problem whatsoever. So now as we head back over to our farm, once again, you can see those jerky movements real quick with the mouse and keyboard steering. 
All right, let's go ahead and slow way down so we can make this corner. Yep, I don't think I can continue in that view just because it it disturbs me to see the steering wheel moving uh, so abruptly like that. It would be much better if I were using the uh, the wheel at this point, but that is a whole different story. All right, so we'll come back over and park our milk truck. In fact, we'll go ahead and, and get it back into the proper location. And then we'll move on with the second part of today's plan, which is landscaping. This is going to be the fun part. Because I am not a good landscaper. I am not good with these tools. So we're going to see how this works out. It could entirely uh, be possible that I end up making it worse by doing this. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. All right, so again, I'm going to try to stay off of the field as much as I can. We'll create a, a road through here at some point, uh, probably along this side here, exactly where we are currently. Okay, so this guy, let's actually go ahead and spin around and see if I can get this guy somewhat loaded up to where he's going to need to be long term. There we go. That should be pretty good right about there. Okay, that's exactly where we need him to be. Now let's take a look at some landscaping we need to get done. All right, so let's get started with our landscaping. We've got the storefront pulled up. We're going to go to the far right-hand corner and find the shovel icon and click on Start Landscaping. So let's see. Let's move around. The first place I want to start with is actually right... Over in this area, let's actually increase the brush size just a little bit uh, because I think that'll be I think that'll be good. So let's go ahead and get it right on the edge of what it will allow us to adjust, and then we're going to actually use the smooth function. All right, let's try to get. Try to get this thing a little bit higher. Now, we're not using a very high strength at all. So as I move this around, uh, it's not going to make huge changes. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and increase that a little bit more. Let's go up to 0.4 and let's see what that does. It goes a little bit faster. So once again, we're just going to do a little bit of work here. And there's plenty of work uh, that we can do to improve this over time. But for right now, I just want to get a little bit of, of base level work done. And again, I'm going to try to get as close up there as I can and just try to smooth out some of this transition. Let's get in there. Oh, yeah, that's much better. Not perfect. Uh, still need some more work over there. But it's certainly, I think, uh, better than what it was before. And we might infringe a little bit on our field over here for right now, but that's no big deal. Just trying to make these edges a little bit smoother. And again, you can see as we zoom in here, it is certainly helping out quite a bit. But some of these edges, are just nothing we're going to be able to do with that. Okay, so that's not bad right there. Another area where we need a little help is right over here in this corner. All right, so again, I'm going to, let's actually reduce the brush size a little bit here. And then I'm going to try to get in as close as I can on the sides. Let's see, how close will this thing let me get? Okay, not bad at all, actually. All right, so we're going to zoom in here once again, and this would be a good area that I'll probably come back in at some point, play around with this a little bit more, and use the, uh, the raise function for some of this and try to create a little bit better 
uh, transition than what we're getting right now. All right, but this looks already much better than what we had before. And again, we can always come back in and play around with this some more a little bit later on. Uh, now let's get around to this other side because we're going to need to come off of this side after we unload or load as the case may be. All right, and I think that looks much better. Not perfect, but it's certainly much smoother than uh, what we've been dealing with up to this point. Okay, so where else do we need? Oh yeah, we needed some more work over in this area for the time being. I'm trying to think of the worst offending areas right now that were causing the biggest issue. And again, right now I'm just using the smooth function trying to smooth out some of the rough edges. There we go, around the corners like that. And again, give us a little bit of smoothing there along that area. And what I'm gonna do at the end uh, is I'm actually gonna come back and we're gonna paint the terrain uh, a little bit differently uh, with some different colors. So I'm not terribly worried about the fact that the terrain doesn't match up right now. Let's see, let's spin this around the other way. And again, this isn't a terribly bad area right in here, but just try to smooth this out a little bit. I wonder if it'll let me go through where, yep, yeah, it'll let me go right through where these areas are. Okay, not bad. We'll smooth out all of this in here a little bit more for now. Certainly not a professional job, but I think it's a little bit better than it was before. Let's move around and see if there's any more areas that really need a lot of attention right now. Uh, I think this area could use it. Could use a little bit of love and okay, that looks like a pretty smooth transition. What about this other corner? Okay, maybe a little bit over here. Okay, not bad. All right, I think we're good over in this corner. There's not really much of a ridge over here. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a little bit of work over here since this is an area that I use obviously quite a bit for filling up the water. So we'll smooth out this area a little bit more. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this landscaping function. The, the little bit that I've gotten to play around with it to this point, uh, I am definitely enjoying it. Okay, it looks like we ha can't really do a whole lot in the immediate area next to that. And I think that's it for now. There are certainly more areas. Oh, wait, one more. I think there are some rough patches around. Yeah, there we go. This needs a little bit of smoothing as well. So we'll go ahead and expand that out and go ahead and make this a little bit easier. A little bit smoother transition. I like it. And go ahead and even out some of these sides. And again, this should be more or less okay on this end. It was more on the back side here, or what I generally use as the back side that needed a lot more work. Okay, so let's give it a little bit more of a raise in the terrain over there. Okay, and I think we're pretty good as far as the areas that just needed a huge amount of attention. And like I said, I'll come in uh, from time to time as I see how well this is working or not working and we'll make some more changes uh, But for right now, I feel like this is actually pretty good uh, As far as a little bit smoother transitions Than what we had before for sure 
do a little bit more work over here because this is one of the areas where it was really bad. It was almost like falling off a cliff there. All right, so that takes care of that. Now let's see what kind of painting we actually want to do. All right, so with our painting tool now uh, selected using the X key, let's think about what we want to, to do to some of these areas. I'm kind of thinking I want to go with more of a dirt look in a lot of these areas instead of grass. Uh, simply because I just want to break up all of this grass that we have in the surrounding areas and try to put maybe some, some dirt in there. And my initial plan is to maybe put some roadways through here, maybe some little connectors just, again, to break up uh, the graphics just a little bit. And for right now, I'm thinking about putting maybe an asphalt patch here in, in this general area to park some of the uh, the bigger items that we have, such as the crone mower or like you see there now with the combine. So I think that's the direction I want to go. Let's go ahead and move forward through some of these uh, options until I see one that I think I might want to start with. Uh, let's see what this looks like. Okay, that's not bad. I kind of like that for a starter, but the really the best news about this is that I can change it as often as I want to. Uh, and we'll keep an eye out for uh, the money and how much money we're actually using. But for right now, I'll tell you what, let's change the shape uh, as well. Let's see, how do we change that with the C key? So we'll go ahead and try, and that way we can line things up a little bit better. There we go, like that. That way, if you've got uh, a, a straight edge that you want to put in there, uh, you get really OCD about these things, then this will give you that ability to make these nice square shapes if you so desire. So I'm just going to go ahead and do some of this, and I'm just going to hold down, trying to keep an eye out for our money. I'm not terribly worried about it because anything we don't get done right now uh, we'll simply come back in and do later. Okay, I kind of like as we zoom in there. Okay, that's not bad. Uh, that's a nice looking texture for some of the area. And we'll swap that around some for, for some of the other areas. Okay, let's go ahead and get as close as it'll let us get to this. And you can see now it just sort of blends in seamlessly with this area around the hayloft. Okay, not bad. We're not going to paint everything today, but I did want to get a few things done just to see how I like them. Then, as I mentioned, uh, along the way, if I decide that, you know what, I like this better as a different color or a different texture, different whatever, then we can certainly do that. But this will give us a small area to try out and see. There we go. That looks pretty good. Let's go a little bit farther to the edge over here. Okay, I did not intend, nor did I think it was going to allow me to get up onto the ramp there, but Looks like it let me get there a little bit. And yeah, I'm going to end up messing this up a whole lot more by trying to fix it. So I'm just going to leave it right there for now. This is the part where I end up messing things up. And then we may come back over here, put another asphalt slab or something uh, in that area. Or who knows, we might end up putting another, another building in that area. All right, so not bad there. Let's look around and see. Uh, looks like we could use a little help over in this area. I'm probably going to end up messing this up. It's probably what's going to happen, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Uh, let's see. Well, I don't see exactly what I want right here. Okay, that's not bad. Not exactly... Uh, a match for what's there already, but okay, not bad at all. I can certainly live with that. 
All right, let's go back to some of our dirt texture. And some of this I'll probably end up coming back to the circular texture around, or the circular shape for the textures around this. But so far, this is working out pretty good. Uh, much better than I thought I was going to be able to do with this tool, that's for sure. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it's going to make these corners look a little weird, so I'll have to come back and do a little work on, on that. But overall, I like it. Just breaks up. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to really break things up from a visual standpoint and make things look however you want them to look. Want the entire farm to be asphalt or concrete? Then just go right ahead and do just that. Okay, I'll come back and finish that up a little later on. Let's see, is there any other area... Uh, I'm going to hold off before I put asphalt down in here because i got to pick out what area uh, or what texture I want in this area around the asphalt, and then I'll do the asphalt last. Uh, but like in this area, is probably going to end up being uh, dirt, but I'll probably play around with that some. And then next time we come back, uh, I will show you guys where I'm at so far, and then we'll make some decisions about going forward. So that's going to do it for now. Thank you very much for joining me. And stay tuned as we will continue our gameplay series of Farming Simulator 19.